Hello traders, it's Nikos here from Spartan Trader FX. Um, in this small video, I will explain what we are going to do in March and April in our live trading room. We will, of course, look for live setups that we can trade together. We will have three sessions each week for a whole month, for four weeks, and each session will uh, take about two to three hours depending on the setups depending on the material we have to cover and um, We will focus a little bit on swing trading. That means we look for setups on higher time frames or we combine Lower time frames and higher time frames. That means we look for entries on the lower time frame, but we'll keep part of our positions open and running as long as possible and we will try to turn day trades into big, powerful swing trades. Uh, I will give you some examples in a few minutes, just explaining a little bit more. Um, like always, we will do our top-down approach. That means we will start with higher time frames, uh, from higher time frames, from the weekly, daily, four hourly, and one hourly chart. We will draw our trend lines, support resistance lines, and then we will look for bounces and breaks and trade setups as they come. We will cover most or I would say all major forex pairs, gold, silver. And uh, if we get have a little bit time indices, um, maybe also some very volatile exotic pairs, we will talk about our trading journals and trading plans. Remember, it's very, very important that traders create trading journals and trading plans to track their own um, trades and results to improve the skills, trying to uh, get better, to become a better trader. And also very important, we will practice a lot of positive thinking exercises. It's very important that you are positive when you trade. You don't want to think about bad things when you trade. We also um, create our trading plans. Okay, I will give you many good examples you could use to create your own plan. We will discuss your trades. Um, we will when you have open positions, we will go and do the top-down approach together, look for new targets, and maybe even try to reinstate positions if possible, and really leave, as we usually do, a position open and running to maximize our profits with the remaining lot on a trade okay that's something we always do but I just want to I wanted to explain that again and very very important we will practice a lot of trend lines drawing trend lines and how to really avoid having lines all over the place for example if you look at this <laughs> chart here that's the GBP US dollar weekly chart um, it's easy to see that this pair is ranging right now okay on this weekly chart so seeing all the spikes and all the uh, peaks and everything uh, most traders start to draw lines all over the place for instance okay the price is down here but where do I have resistance here I have two lows pointing out so here I have a lot of resistance uh, for instance okay in case the price comes back up but also of course I have uh, a peak pointing out and if I scroll back I'll see some resistance back in 2009 and then you could draw another line a little bit higher here and then it becomes messy so let's draw something another line here and you you see what's going on if you draw too many lines you get confused yeah not every peak and point is that important here it's very important that you understand how to draw, for instance, a correct horizontal resistance or support line. And this is the same, of course, up here. Look at that. Previous highs, 
we have eyes here and here and down here and a lot of touches here and there and there so now imagine you have lines all over the place you will never find a good setup or you won't be able to actually target uh, an area far away if you have resistance lines all over the place okay so what we do we focus mostly on the most touches you can find and areas that are really pointing out for instance look at that yes you have lows here but we won't put our line to this area we will move it a little bit up and leave it where we have most touches okay so that would be our support area in this example and of course a little bit higher you have many touches as well so what we do between our bodies candle bodies and peaks we draw kind of a zone and that will be here that would be our resistance zone in case the price comes back up yeah in case instead of drawing uh, lines all over the place and these are the areas that actually really make sense everything else doesn't matter when we go up now and trying to find for more resistance yeah in case the price moves back up into this area that would become support and now up here would have resistance but where to put or where to draw the line here's a good place a lot of touches there here as well but if you really look at it most touches and areas that are pointing out are in this area okay so again we draw a zone and there you have your major support and resistance in case the price comes back into this area okay if the price breaks in the end then you're welcome to draw new lines but in between this area because the price is moving up and down between support and resistance yeah these are the important areas everything else doesn't matter much so if we are looking for long setups in case the price comes back uh, moves back up into this area we will target the highs the highs of this range if not we'll probably at some point get a retracement and this previous support will act as resistance as resistance and then we could target the lows on this chart not the peak down here but the area where we have the most touches first okay and um, now let me talk a little bit about the range and how to trade a range that is something we are going to cover live and we will also trade it if we get the chance when the price moves in a range it will bounce it's usually bouncing on support or resistance right and a good example was the previous touch on resistance last month uh, where we had a false break and we had traders in our live trading room that already uh, that took advantage of this false break and they used a lower time frame to trade the bounce on this weekly resistance and had a long term target for the remaining part of the trades remember we split a position always into uh, two three or more parts so after taking incremental profits we always leave one position open and this traders targeted the support on this weekly chart and from up here to down here it is almost a thousand pips and if support breaks as it did here you can make much more profits I'll give you an example Nathaniel from Canada took this trade it he, he um, saw this false breakout there let me show you the chart this is our weekly false breakout GBP US dollar weekly resistance false break the price moved down you see quickly broke on this one hourly chart an existing support line it created a lower high under the 36 
and we had an bounce trade in combination with a aggressive one two three setup under this major weekly resistance yeah. and what happened mm, the trader took the short with a stop of about 25 pips he took his incremental profits according to the rules and left one position open and if you see take a look now at the weekly chart you see that's the weekly chart the price moved down to here and the position is still open that means 1300 pips profit with a stop of 25 pips and that is what 20 times plus the stop okay it's all about keeping one position open if it makes sense and turn a possible day trade into a swing trade uh, if you get the setup correctly at the correct um, place you want to look for setups keep a position open and turn a trade with a small stop into a big swing trade now there's one thing I have to say I've said it a million times but it's very important that we remember that not many traders maybe one percent are looking at weekly or daily charts most traders look at five minute one minute charts or 15 minute charts they take 10 pips 15 pips profits and they're really happy about it okay if you can do that that's great but um, they would never even guess that they could trade a position that they could have a position open with a 25 pip stop and target 500,000 or more pips with that how, how should should they do that if you don't look at the weekly or daily chart if you don't see these important support and resistance areas you cannot target it yeah you cannot have this kind of target so you have a huge advantage over most traders on the planet if you just use the higher time frames to do your analysis and have much bigger targets for your remaining lots okay that was a good example we have others we don't uh, need and want to uh, show off with a lot of charts it's just a very very good uh, that was a good example for a nice bounce trade using lower time frames to enter and higher time frames for bigger targets you see the price didn't bounce and support so the trader just leave left the position open the next target is maybe down here depends on what happens next and we will discuss everything explain everything and also trade it live another very very important part and something we will also cover live in our live trading room sessions is for instance let me <laughs> use uh, find the charts first um, channel trading people ask me often uh, how to trade in a channel it's really not complicated you can add the Spartan trading system and rules to it very very simple if you just look at the euro US dollar daily chart the price moved up we have a lot of support the 36 CMA is always our guide as long as the price creates higher highs higher lows we are long and um, there are ways to trade against the main trend of course using lower time frames but it's most important that we look for setups when the price hits major support and resistance area so if we switch to the four hourly chart you will see that um, there we go last month after the big move on higher time frames the euro yen started to create lower points lower highs lower lows and um, but in the end it did not move lower or higher so it was stuck between two levels you can see the first second third touch here one two touches there and if you start extending these lines just imagine let me draw it again let's imagine we are right here okay 
you see the price is crossing down and crossing up and we have already three four touches up here and now some touches there if you start extending the line look what happens every time the price reaches this line it's bouncing and after confirmed smaller range we assume that the price will move in this range and in this channel if it's bouncing on these areas so every time the price is reaching an area where we extend a line and our candles are changing color on lower time frames we can look for bounce traits to target the high of the channel and the other way around if the price reaches the highs of this channel and range we can start look for short setups using as always lower time frames two to three line breaks um, after our one to three setups on the lower time frames or just a candle color change an aggressive entry after a confirmed bounce in this area so how we do that exactly uh, we cannot discuss it right now it would take too much time but i think you get the point and that is also very very important to identify on the chart uh, to identify a channel like this on the chart so if the channel breaks you're looking again for classic setups doing your top-down approach and uh, if the price comes back into and a channel and moves between these areas you would use the bounces but if the price comes out of this area as it did here the whole scenario the bouncing scenario is out of the window and you are now looking for clean setups again using the classic approach or something I'm working on lately um, is using or applying the Renko bars into the system you can combine the classic Spartan trader system with the Renko bars or you can use them also without combining it with our Spartan system okay uh, we started with Renko bars in 2012 in November we had a live course there and I'm always trying to improve and simplify the the whole process with the Renko bar. So I'll give you another example. That is something we are going to do as well in this live trading room. Uh, this is a Euro US dollar M16 Renko bar chart. Uh, Renko bars have nothing to do with time. Yeah, you measure only volatility. That means you set a bar to, in this case, 16 pips. And that means the price has to move at least 16 pips in one direction uh, before you get a new candle that means if you have a 15 or 10 or 20 pips range you will not see a new candle it could be that you have only one candle there and only if this uh, the chart moves again you will see new candles that is filtering out a lot of noise and uh, sometimes small ranges and it's really great because if you want to take advantage of volatility what we do is we use the bounces of a trend line to trade Renko bars or we wait for the price to come out of a smaller I would say on the Renko bars a bigger range uh, you draw support and resistance lines correctly that is something that we're going to practice and if you see the price coming out of an area like this you wait for a nice clean textbook setup according to the Spartan rules the one two three setup rules and in this case you have your entry down here with a really small stop and uh, you see with volatility on Renko charts you can make a lot of profits um, just by using 
the charts alone or as I said combining it combining these charts with our classic template so we're going to cover this as well trying to squeeze it all in this one month of life training and trading we will take our time it won't be uh, something that will create much stress for you so don't worry about it but we will cover everything as I said before channel trading bounce trading hedging yeah, you could be long give you an example again um, on the euro yen for instance and when you expect a retracement in this major uptrend you take advantage of the retracement as well keep a swing long position and trade at the same time short to milk the market um, even against the main trend okay that is something you don't have to do but i will teach you how to do it and we will also practice it on the charts live if we get the chance to do so these are the most important things and um, I think uh, it's it's a lot of information and I'm recording each and every session for you of course as well in case you cannot um, be there live or in case you want just to uh, practice you will be able to download the whole session and uh, look at it later on okay let me just explain again in a very short version what we will do in our live trading room sessions in March and April again as I said four weeks of live training and trading three sessions every week you have the schedule just uh, it's it's right below under the video we will learn all Spartan FX system rules in detail combine swing trading and day trading uh, we will learn how to draw correct support and resistance lines when to trade and when to stay away how to control emotions when trading how to avoid doing the same mistakes over and over again how to have a winning mindset how to create a simple trading plan and trading journal how to think positive and be responsible for your own actions how to trade in ranging and trending markets how to use simple Renko bars to trade the markets how to trade in a channel to hedge a position correctly how to turn a day trade into a powerful swing trade how to make winning as a trader a habit and how to let go of your trading past grow your account steady and achieve long-term profits okay I hope this video was helpful to you and it will be an honor for me to see you in the live trading room uh, in about uh, today is March 8 so in about 10 days have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon goodbye for now